Hey everyone, I'm Gordon from Ada. Welcome to this, our second video on the role of generative AI in customer service automation. If you need a refresher on generative AI, LLMs, ChatGPT, and what it all means for your business, check out this quick video and then hop back in here. At this point, ambitious CX leaders know that they need to incorporate generative AI into their strategy, but you may still be asking yourself, how do I even get started? The best way to approach generative AI is with a human first perspective. Onboard the model like you would a new employee. The more thoroughly you prepare your AI, the better it will perform from the get-go. Here are three things that you need to teach it how to do. The first is teaching your AI how to read. Here's Mike talking a bit about it. Teaching your AI to read means that you are making the knowledge and documents across your company accessible to your AI. Your knowledge becomes the source of truth for the accuracy of your AI. And so it's critical that you identify all the documents across your organization, chat transcripts, knowledge base articles, conversations, and ensure that they are an accurate representation of your business and your customer service operations. While the knowledge contained in LLMs like ChatGPT is impressive, you need to be careful about solely relying on them to represent your company's information because they typically don't have the most accurate or up-to-date information. You have this. Additionally, training LLMs from scratch is generally very expensive. It takes a lot of time, effort, compute cost. And while fine tuning LLMs on your domain specific data is more cost effective, it still takes time and it may not be something you want to wait for every time you want to update your content. It's likely that a far more practical solution is to keep your knowledge base as your source of truth and use LLMs, get them to reference that content instead. Combining LLMs with your company's information in this way kind of gives you the best of both worlds. You get the fastest and cheapest way to generate content that is grounded in the most up-to-date reference material. The second is teaching your AI how to perform actions. Here's Mike again. In order for your AI to automatically resolve customer inquiries and to do so in a way that makes customer service experiences great for everyone, you need to teach your AI to perform actions. And this means making all the APIs across your business accessible to your AI. Otherwise, your AI is only gonna be able to provide basic answers, as opposed to performing complex actions like refunding a payment, updating an account, personalizing the experience so that your customers know that you know who they are and know that you care about taking actions on their behalf. Let's dig into the API strategy here a little. It's important to remember that right now, LLMs work by predicting the next word. And while they do this very well, what they can't do is actually take actions on, on behalf of customers. They can, however, know when to hand off a customer to the third party software that can take that action. And this is where your API strategy comes in. So figuring out your API strategy is typically a partnership between your product, customer experience, and technology departments. You wanna ask yourself, what are the actions that you wanna to expose to your customers? What's the level of readiness of the APIs that power those actions? And how can you make sure you surface them in a safe and controllable way? You'll wanna work with AI solutions that allow you to manage the business logic behind how you power actions. For example, you might want your uh, product to be able to offer your customers refunds, but you might not want it to proactively suggest them, or you might wanna only offer refunds for specific products. The third is teaching your AI where to find expertise in your organization. Back to Mike. Teaching your AI to access expertise across your organization means that your AI is trained on the institutional knowledge within the experts' brains in your organization. To do that, you need to make sure that you've identified all those experts, that you've set up the routing technology to connect them in when needed, and third, you have the tooling that allows them to offer their expertise to train your AI. With AI now automatically resolving customer inquiries and helping them take actions, you now have the opportunity to route the truly unique inquiries to the people in your organization who are best equipped to handle them. To really optimize the experience for your users, your AI needs to be able to facilitate handoffs to the right people in your organization. And beyond that, you should think about using AI tools that allow people to in your company to share their expertise in helping train the AI. Some considerations would be picking a tool that has SSO with different levels of access, 
choosing one that doesn't have a per seat pricing model and also picking one that has a, an intuitive interface so it's accessible for non-technical users. We recently did a webinar with a guest speaker from Forrester going deep into these three lessons and it has some really practical steps you can take to help uh, prepare your CX organization for generative AI. Highly recommend watching that. If you have any questions, we'd love to hear them and otherwise stay tuned for more videos in the series. Thanks for watching. Bye.